Hey everyone, this is going to be a demo of Stories of Blossom. This is a mainstream game, to my knowledge, that just came out today. Um, I just bought it, and we're going to take a look at it. Now, I, I don't know too much about this. Um, I think the idea is that you play as a girl who's probably not that old. I think she's like five or six, maybe. And uh, I think her grandfather is telling her stories. But the cool thing about this game is, to my knowledge, this game is 100% accessible to blindness and probably a bunch of uh, uh, other things as well. Um, now, I'm not going to show the graphics because I don't know how and because I think it makes it just a little more interesting because you get to experience it the way I do. Um, so my understanding too is this game is definitely uh, it's definitely geared towards kids so the content may not be as um, shall we say not as mature but I hope that you can <laughs> enjoy it. And the reason I grab this is because this is yet uh, another example that games can be made playable and they can be made playable to everyone. So let's take a look at this. Stories of Blossom 1.0.0. Stories of Blossom All right, Filed so I'm going to run the program and this game does speak itself. So let me turn off. Speech mode off. Like that. And then we'll just, let's go. It should talk to me when I launch it. Press any button. All right, I'll hit the space bar. Box one. Move to the next box by pressing down arrow. Press E to select. Box two. Move to the previous box by pressing up arrow. Box one. Select a box by pressing E. Now, I pressed down arrow, not up, so it looks like this menu does wrap. So now I'm going to hit E. Text to speech. Reads back any text that is not already voiced and gives context for any on-screen prompts. Current value, on. Option, one of seven. Press E to select. If I hit E. Off. Turns it off. Turn text to speech off. I Press want that E to select. Press right mouse button to go back. I'm gonna turn this on. Oops. What did I do? Uh oh. Uh maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> well. Isn't this fun? Hold on a second. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I'm just realizing. Speech mode. Star stories of Blossom 1. Audacity. Stories of Blossom. Let's run this again. Stories of Blossom. Speech mode off. Box 1. Move to the next box by press. Box 2. Box 1. Text to speech. Reads back any audio descriptions. A voice description of what is happening visually on screen. Current value, off. Option, two of seven. Press E to select. So I do want this on. Off. Turn audio descriptions off. Pre option set to off. Wait. Navigation. Audio de off. Continue to the next group of settings. Press E to select. On. Turn audio descriptions on. So when you press E, then you can down, uh, you, you can go down with the down arrow key, and I guess I'll hit E on on. Option set to on. Okay. Navigation. Audio descriptions. A voice description of what is happening visually on screen. Current value on. Option two of seven. Okay, I do want that press on. E to select. Navigation. How you will interact with the game. Current value. Focus. Option three of seven. 
I'll hit E. Point. Point with a pointer to the desired interaction and select the ground to move the character. Press E to select. Press right mouse button to go back. And I'll press the down arrow. Continue to the next group. Focus. Tab through the interactions in each scene and select the one you want. Continue to the next point. Continue to the next focus. Tab option set to focus. Right, that's what you want. Point, I think, is visual and require and would require using the mouse. Audio description. Navigation. How you will interact with the game. Current value. Focus. The color that is used when you highlight an interaction. Option. Four of seven. Press E to select. This is visual. Text size. Windowed mode. Play the game windowed. Current value. Off. Option. Brightness. Adjust. Continue to the next group of settings. So I'm just pressing down arrow. Now that stuff's visual. Text to speech. Let's go up. Re Continue to the next group of settings. And I'll press E. Subtitles. Displays text for all dialogue lines at the bottom of the screen. Current value. On. Option. One of seven. Press E to select. So I'll leave this on. I, I I don't think that it's going to bother me, but for those of you that might be deaf, you might want this on. Advancing dialogue. How dialogue progresses once a line has finished. Current value, auto. Option, two of six. So the E. Manual. Move to the next line of dialogue manually. Press E to select. Press. Close setting. Auto. Close setting. Manual. Close setting. Auto. Let's leave it on this. Moved. Option set to auto. Audio caption. Advancing dial. Audio captions. A text description of any audio events triggered in game. Current value off. Option three of six. All right, so I, I don't need that. To select interaction labels. A short description of the currently highlighted interaction. Current value on. Option four of six. Okay, I do want to leave that on. Input prompts. Show the input that needs to be performed to interact with the currently highlighted interaction. Current value on. Customize the subtitle's appearance. Continue. I continue. Continue to game. Play E. Feeding in from white. In a dark blue font, stories of blossom. A yellow bee and two flowers border the text. Soft leaf studios in a teal green text. To its left is a vector art drawing of a leaf. Stenciled in a black font, future screens NI. Subtitled in a light blue, connecting creativity. In black text, developed in Northern Ireland with the funding from Northern Ireland Screen. Beside their name is an outline of two overlaid screens with red gradients. An assortment of sized squares of greens, purples and pinks. Beside it, UK Games Fund in purple text. Black text reads, Runtime text-to-speech plugin powered by readspeaker.ai. Beside it is a less than sign and a circle in an orange to purple gradient. Version 1.0.0.0 New game. Option 1 of 4. Press E to select. Press down arrow to focus next item. Press up arrow to focus previous item. Wow. I'm gonna... Uh, I, I almost cried. See, this is... This is how we should be making games. I mean, yeah. Um, let's go down. Extras. Option two of four. Settings. Exit. Settings. Look at the settings Option here. Option three of four. E. Audio settings. Option one of six. Press E to select. Press right mouse button to go back. Volume settings. Option one of four. Audio accessibility settings. 
Option. Go back to the previous page. Volume settings. Audio accessibility setting. Text to speech. Reads back any text that is not already voiced and gives context for any on-screen prompts. Current value. On. Voice. The voice that reads back the text. Current value. James. Option. Two of six. I'm gonna hit E. James. Close setting. Beth. Close setting. Molly. Close setting. James. Close setting. Beth. Close. Molly. Molly? Set the text to speech voice to Molly. Action set to Molly. Oh, the child voice. Speed. Voice. The voice that reads back the text. Current value. Molly. Um, I don't like that. James. Close. Beth. Option set to Beth. Speed. The speed of the text to speech voice. Current value. 110. Option. 3 of 6. Press. E. To select. Press. Right mouse button. To go back. Uh, yeah, so you can change the speed. Pitch. The pitch of the text to speech voice. Current value. 110. Option. 4 of 6. Decrease the pitch of the text to speech voice. Option. Close. Increase the. Close. Decrease the pitch of the text to speech. Option decrease to 100. Press. E. To select. Press. Close setting. Increase the. Close setting. Decrease the pitch. Option decrease to 90. Close setting. Text to speech. Reads back any text that is not already voiced and gives context for any on screen prompt. Close setting. So. Text to speech. Voice. James. Close set. Beth. Molly. James. Beth. Close setting. I thought we'd have things Press. like Kate e. <laughs> and Paul. Press. James. Let me go back to James. Set. Option set to James. Yeah, well, let's stick with James. I don't like this voice, but I think it's the... It's the one I don't mind. Text-to-speech. Voice. Speed. The speed of the text-to-speech voice. Current value. Pitch. Dec close setting. Increase the pitch. Option increase to 100. Press E to select. Press. Close setting. Text-to-speech. Voice. Speed. Pitch. Input instructions. Text to speech reads back input instructions. Current value. On. Option. 5 of 6. Press E to select. Press right mouse button to go back. So I think that will, that will customize how the in instructions are read. Audio descriptions. A voice description of what is happening visually on screen. Current value. On. Close setting. Audio. Audio accessibility. Close setting. Volume settings. Audio accessibility. Close setting. Yeah. Volume. Volume. Setting. Master. Adjust the overall volume of the game. Ambience. Voiceover. Adjust the volume of the voiceover. Current value. 100. Music. Adjust the volume of the music. General sound effects. Adjust the volume of the general sound effects. UI sound effects. Adjust the volume of the UI sound effects. Current value, 100. Text to speech. Adjust the volume of the text to speech. Current value, 100. Option, audio descriptions. Text to speech. Close setting. So you can customize all that stuff. Audio. Audio accessibility. Close setting. Settings. Exit set. Audio settings. Exit settings. Input settings. Exit settings. Subtitle settings. Exit setting. Visual settings. Exit setting. Audio settings. Exit input settings. Now, I'm Option. not going to go through these all. Navigation. How you will interact with the game. Current value. Focus. Right, we did that. Option. Control settings. Option. Two of four. Tap threshold. Hold threshold. Go back to Wait. the previous. 
tap threshold. The duration between each button press before input actions set to tap are performed. Current value, 0 0.3. Okay, that's pretty cool. Option. Hold threshold. The duration buttons need to be held before input actions set to hold are performed. Tap control settings. Pointer. Moves the cursor on the screen. Current value, mouse position. Option, one of four. Up. Moves up. Current value, up arrow. Option, two of 12. Okay, so I guess you can customize the controls. Down. Left. Right. Select. Interacts with the highlighted object, moves the character to the selected point, and progresses dialog. Current value, E. Option, 6 of 12. So pressing E, which is what I've been doing. Deselect. Cancels walking, returns held items to backpack, and goes back to the previous page. Current value, right mouse button. Option, 7 of 12. Okay, so apparently it uses the right mouse button to deselect. Highlight. Highlights all of the interactable objects in the scene. Current value, H. Option, 8 of 12. Okay, H to highlight all. Side menu. Toggles the side menu during gameplay. Current value, M. Option, 9 of 12. Okay, pressing M brings up the menu. Pause. Toggles the pause menu during gameplay and settings once open. Current value, escape. Option, 10 of 12. Okay, it, escape is the pause menu. Backpack. Toggles the backpack during gameplay. Current value, B. Option, 11 of 12. Okay. Diary. Toggles the diary during gameplay. Current value, N. Option, 12 of 12. N is the diary, I'm not sure what that is yet. Go back to the previous page. So let's just go back. Input. Go back to the pr settings. Exit settings. New game. Extras. Set extras. Let's look at extras. Option achievements. Okay. Option one of three. Credits. Back. Achievements. Let's look at the achievements. Option real quick. one of three. Achievement one of sixteen. Gain access. Achievement locked. In story, Annie and the Crumbles. Gain access to the Crumbles Festival. Press E to select. Pre Achievement 5 of 16. Rebel at heart. Achievement locked. In story, Annie and the Crumbles. Try to cut the piñata, fill it with soil, or soak the decorator's son. And I think you get the idea. A exit. So I'm going to go up. Achievements. Back. New game. X. New game. And let's actually try to Option play this. One of four. Loading. Check mate. A softly painted watercolor appears. Two characters are happily playing chess on a table by the warm glow of a fire. Oh no! Beat me again, have you? You're getting too good at this. A young girl with long brown hair tied in a ponytail in a pink nightgown kneels by the table with a smile of victory. I think you're letting me win, Grandpa. That was just too easy. Now, now, nobody likes a sore winner. Sitting opposite in a comfy blue chair is a kind-looking old man wearing a green knitted jumper and soft slippers. His glasses balance off the bridge of his nose as his bushy grey moustache rises with his smile. <clears throat> Best get ready for bed, my dear. We don't want you missing your big day tomorrow. What's the matter? A close-up shot of Clara. She lowers her head, her face full of doubt. Tomorrow is my first day back at school, Grandpa. And... I'm worried no one will like me. Oh, my dear Clara, you have no need to worry. Come here. Have I ever told you the story about Annie and the Crumbles? There once was a king from a land far away who 
was sick with worry about his village's festival. He worried and worried that the preparations would not be ready in time. To the point, he became physically ill. Clara imagines a clear spring day. On a stump deep in thought sits a small crispy crumb, like that from a biscuit. He has a gold crown on his head and stick arms and legs. Just when he was about to lose all hope, a young adventurer strolled by and saw him in this horrible state. You have no need to worry, O King of the Crumbles. I will help you. Standing heroically is Clara as the adventurer. She wears a yellow backpack, blue t-shirt, and a purple skirt. With the little energy he had left, the king thanked the girl and pointed her in the direction of his village. Annie the adventurer walks into a rural area. It is a calm spring day with clear blue skies and fresh green grass on hills. At the end of a long winding dirt path, the Crumble village stands in the distance. Oh, that must be the Crumble's village over there. Press right arrow to focus next item. Press left arrow to focus previous item. Auto saving. Ticket booth. Press E to select. And here we are in the game itself. Now I do apologize. I might be able to hear my computer making some noise. I think that's my hard drive. Hopefully it's not going to be too much of an issue. So here we are in the game. And um, I can go to the right. Ticket collector. Side menu. Ticket booth. Ticket collector. Side menu. Now here's a side menu. I think I could hit, uh, if I hit E. Pause menu. Select your diary if you need help. Side menu. Backpack. Side menu. Diary. Side menu. Pause menu. Uh, you can, you can, I think you can pause it here, so if I hit E. Resume. Option one of five. Just pause if you go to the right. Backpack. Side menu. Save. Diary. Side menu. Achievements. Pause menu. Side menu. Settings. Backpack. Side menu. Resume. Save. Achievements. Oh, I see. Option settings. Exit. Pause menu. Backpack. So if you go down. Diary. Side menu. Resume. I'll hit resume. Ticket collector. Okay, I'll hit E. Now you can also hit M. Pause menu. Select your diary if you need help. Side menu. Backpack. You can open the backpack. Backpack. Figure the right. Side menu. Diary. Side menu. Pause menu. Backpack. Pause menu. Hit E. Resume. Ticket collector. There we go. Now I'm back. I think you can also hit B. Zero items. Backpack. Lift the backpack. Side menu. Backpack. Side menu. Pause menu. Side menu. Diary. Side menu. Backpack. Side diary. Index. Goals. Option one of three. Press E to select. This is the diary. Exit. The story so far. Option two of th Exit. Tutorials. Exit. Goals. Goal, save the Crumbles Festival. Gain access. Goal one of one. Back. Gain access. Exit. Gain access. Back. Yep. Back. Goal index. Exit. The story so far. A e. Option Clara and Grandpa. Recap one of one. Back. Clara and Grandpa. While playing chess, Clara became worried that no one would like her when she returned to school. Next. To comfort her, Grandpa began the story of Annie and the Crumbles. Next. And the cool thing, so if I go to the right. Back. 
you can go back and forth and you can read these as many times as you want. This is really cool. All of this just reads. This is fantastic. Exit. Previous. Next. There once was a king who was sick with worry about his village's festival. Next. He worried the preparations would not be ready in time, to the point he became physically ill. Next. And this is the recap of the story. Just when he was about to lose all hope, a young adventurer strolled by and offered to save his village's festival. Previous. Back. Exit. Uh, I think you can hit N. The story so far. Which brings up the diary. Back. Clara and Grandpa. Exit. Clara and Grandpa. Back. Index. Took her back. Exit. The story. Ex tutorials. Good tutorials. Op interaction. Back. Inventory. Exit. Interaction. Up. Select a point of interest to make the character interact with it. Double select to increase the speed of the character. Back. Exit. Back. Tutorials. Back. Inventory. Select an item to equip it. With an item equipped, select a point of interest to use the item on. Deselect or select the sidebar to return the item to your backpack. Back. I see. Exit. Back. Exit. So let's uh, continue here. Side menu. Ticket booth. Behind a blue lemonade stand with a sign of a golden ticket stands a crumble wearing a straw sun hat. Happily fanning festival tickets in her hand. One ticket to the festival, please. I'll put this in my backpack for safekeeping. Ticket added to backpack. Ticket booth. Press uh, E to if I do this again. I don't I've already it. got my ticket. One should be enough. Yeah, okay. Ticket collector. Side menu. Ticket booth. Ticket collector. Press. Blocking the path to the Crumbles village was a tiny crumble holding a stop sign. There was no moving him without a ticket. I have my ticket right here. Now, where did I put it? New diary entry. Ticket collector. Press E to select. Side menu. Ticket booth. So I think the, the puzzle is to get your ticket and, and use it. Now, let me check the diary. Tutorials. Back. Inventory. Exit. Interaction. Back. Inventory. Exit. Interaction. Wait. Back. Index. Exit. The story so exit. Tutorials. Not sure option why there's an option next to e exit. E to exit. That's really weird. Goals. Exit. The story so far. E Tutorials. E goals. Exit. The story. Exit. Oh well, it's alright. Ticket collector. Side menu. Ticket booth. So I think what I have to do is hit B. Select the ticket to give to the ticket collector. Ticket. Item one of one. Hit E. Ticket booth. And now Press I'll go to E to tic use I ticket collector. Collector and hit E. Here you go. Achievement gain access unlocked. The crumbles were a small folk. Not bothered by the busyness of everyday life. They always found an occasion to celebrate. Birthdays, holidays, first day of spring, Tuesdays. <laughs> Once she arrived, it did indeed look like some form of celebration was on its way. But something felt not quite right. So, like any good adventurer with a problem to solve, she got straight to work. Outside the town hall stands a three-tiered fountain. On top is a small statue of the king in a heroic pose. Behind empty stalls is a row of houses, all of different sizes. There is colorful bunting and balloons, Swaying in a light breeze. Auto saving. Path to decorator's house. 
Press E to select. And here we go. Fountain. Conductor. Path to Cook's house. Side menu. Path to decorator's house. By a still pond is a tree full of luscious green leaves. Opposite is a dome-shaped house, draped in colorful festival decorations. Auto saving. Pond. Press E to the missing singer. Post box. Door to decorator's house. Path to town. Side menu. Path to town square. Pond. Remember the size of the fish you and grandma caught last year? It was huge! Standing beside Clara and Grandpa is an older woman with light grey hair and delicate features. She wears glasses attached to a small chain around her neck. Oh yes, and then it slipped from my hands and I fell into the river. <laughs> that was funny. Yes. <laughs> Your grandma thought so too. Pond. Run to the e. examine again. Remember the size of the fish you and Pause menu. Grandma caught last year. Pause menu. It standing beside Cla Oh yes. And okay, so you can't let her. Then it slipped from my hands e and E to I bypass cutscenes. So I E. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. All right, so there's that. Yes, <laughs> your grandma thought so too. Pond, the missing singer. Press E to select. Sitting on a stump was a sad-looking crumble, covering her face with her tiny hands. She had just lost her voice, and without it. She had no hope of performing at tomorrow's festival. Don't worry, I'll find your lost voice for you. A small, pink, wispy creature emerges from a hollow in the tree and begins to glance side to side. New diary entry. The missing singer. <laughs> Press E to select. Post box. No letters for the decorator today. Oh, but there's a stamp in here. Suspicious movement in tree. Press E to pond. Suspicious side menu. Path to town square. The missing singer. Door to decorator's house. Can't go in here, can I? The decorations have been the pride of the Crumbles Festival ever since it first started. The oval-shaped room is full of many kinds of colorful decorations, from fairy lights, bunting, and paper lanterns. With all the decorations now up, that just left the festival's main surprise. A giant piñata. Suspended from the ceiling from a thin rope, is a pink paper frilled horse with big eyes and a blue mane and tail. Oh, I love piñatas. So do the crumbles. But a piñata without any sweets to put inside isn't fun for anyone. New diary entry. Golden foil. Press E. Door to outside. Air canister. Decorator. Dusty box. Pinata. Side menu. Golden foil. Auto saving. Ooh, shiny. This must be the foil they used to wrap up their sweeties. Golden foil. Wait. Ooh, shiny. I this see that. must be. Golden door to outside. Golden foil. Door to out. Air canister. Press E to. Air canister. Okay. Press E. Decorator. 
The decorator is kneeling on the ground, searching through a pile of boxes. He wears a pink bow on his head, glasses, and a measuring tape around his shoulders. No matter where he looked, the crumble could not find the jar of sweeties. Which was a shame. His son loved those chocolate sweets. Decorator. So we gotta find that Press too. E to select. Of course we do. Okay. Dusty box. This box is covered in dust. I wonder why. Chocolate brown balloons. Annie opens the box and picks out a deflated balloon. These should come with a do not eat label. Chocolate brown balloon deflated added to backpack. Golden foil. Okay. Press door. Air can. Deck. Pinata. Side menu. Golden foil. Side pinata. Oh, I love pinatas. So do the crumbles, but a pin. Oh, I see. Pinata. Side menu. Golden for door to outside. Press E. Let's go back out here. A small pink wispy creature emerges from a hollow in the tree and begins to glance side to side. Auto saving. Okay. Suspicious now. movement in tree. Press E to select. That must be the singer's lost voice. Come here, you. The lost voice slides down the hollow and pops out the side, making a dash into the decorator's house. Dawn, she got away. Pond. Mm. Side menu. Path to town. Door to decorator's house. Let's go back in here and see what we can do. A red paper party bag suspiciously shuffles on a high shelf. Uh -huh. Auto saving. Golden foil. Door to outs. Air canister. Decor. Pinata. Moving party bag. Something seems to be moving in that bag. <gasps> it's the singer's lost voice. The small pink creature scurries out the door. And she has got away again. Golden foil. Press E to select. Hmm. Ooh, shiny. This must be the foil they used to wrap up their sweeties. Alright, so we can't do anything with that. Golden door to outside. Air canister. Press E. Air canister. Door to outside. Let me go somewhere else. Let's Press see if I can figure e this out. To select. Auto saving. Pond. Side menu. Path to town square. Path to decorator's house. Fountain. What a lovely little fountain of the king of the crumbles. Fountain. Okay. Press. Conductor. In the town square was a small band of musicians getting ready to rehearse for the big event. On a bright red bandstand, there are three crumbles of various sizes, each waiting with their instrument. There is a tambourine, tuba, and ukulele. The conductor, however, seemed very impatient. Tapping his foot is a mustached crumble, holding a baton at his side. Hello, little fella. What's the matter? Pointing to the empty space in front of him, he let the adventurer know that his star singer had yet to arrive. Without her, they could not get started. I'll find your missing singer. Don't you worry your little cotton socks. Conductor. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Press. Path to Cook's house. Side menu. Path to Decorator's house. Fountain. Conductor. 
path to Cook's house. Let's go here. The small pink creature is standing on the open path. She sees Annie and hurriedly tries to hide once again. Oh dear. The singer's lost voice has got herself stuck in the rabbit hole. She flails her legs in a struggle to break free, but soon gives a defeated sigh. The cook's house is shaped like a honeybee's hive. Beside it is a garden full of luscious flowers and vegetables. Auto saving. Path to town square. Press right. E to select. Hang on a second. Why is my computer making so much noise? Hopefully it's not going to be too big of a problem. The lost voice. I'll help you out. As long as you promise not to run away anymore. Okay? On one, two, three. That's better. Now why do you keep running away? The lost voice believed the crumbles would only laugh at her singing. So she decided to run off. Was she a bad singer, Grandpa? Oh no, she was one of the best. And everyone in the village thought so too. Hmm. I've heard nothing but great things about you. The conductor says you are the star of his ensemble. And no festival would be complete without you. Let's get you back to your owner. The lost voice added to backpack. Path to town square. Let's go ahead and do Press that. E to select. So we'll go back. Auto saving. Path to decorator's house. Pond. The missing singer. And I hit B. Chocolate brown balloon. The lost voice. The missing singer. Press E to use I. The missing singer. Hey, I found your lost voice. Now, let's get you back to your friends. The scene transitions to the town square. On the bandstand, the singer has rejoined her fellow musicians. They all wait in anticipation for her to sing. At first, the crumble was afraid of sounding different. <clears throat> but she soon got over that. Bobbing to the rhythm, the musicians happily play along with the conductor's swinging baton. Lost in the moment, the singer is giving her best performance, while Annie dances to their beat. Musicians excitedly huddle around the bashful singer to tell her how great she was. From that day forward, the crumble learned not to worry about the things out of her control. Whether that was her voice running away, or what other crumbles thought of her. Auto saving. Path to decorator's house. Press E to select. Yeah, I think. Fountain, conductor, singer, path to Cook's house, singer. 
You have such a beautiful voice. Singer. Condu found conductor. Oh, it's going to do it again. Okay, okay, Pause stop, 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 stop. Stop it out. Okay. Conductor. Okay. So path to Cook. Side path to Cook's house. All right, let's go here. And I think there's one more task I have to do. Path to Town Square. Rabbit hole. Bag of fresh soil. Overgrown bush. Sunflower. Door to Cook's kitchen. Path to the picnic area. Side menu. Path to town square. Rabbit hole. Can I have a bunny, Grandpa? <laughs> we'll see, my little blossom. Rabbit hole. <laughs> Bag of fresh soil. <clears throat> That's heavy. Luckily for me, I'm a strong adventurer. Bag of fresh soil added to backpack. Okay. Path to town square. Press E to select. Move my microphone a little bit. Rabbit hole. Overgrown bush. This overgrown bush seems to be blocking the window into the Crumbles house. Overgrown sunflower. Press E. Oh dear, your soil has dried up from all this sun. Let me see if I can fix that for you. Door to Cook's kit. Sunflower. Let's do this. Press chocolate brown balloon. Bag of fresh soil. Sunflower. The adventurer thought about it for a second. But she decided to save this item for another time. Sunflower. Press door to Cook's kitchen. Path to the picnic area. Door to Cook's kitchen. Path to the picnic area. Let's go in here. A young crumble, wearing a red and yellow propeller hat, stops eating from a jar of sweeties. I think we have found our missing jar of sweeties. He hides, taking the jar with him. Hey, I see you hiding in those bushes. At the end of the path is a picnic table beside a tree, draped with a red checkered cloth. Near a large bush are colorful sweetie wrappers littered on the ground. Auto saving. Path to Cook's house. Pratt bushes. Why is he hiding in the bushes, Grandpa? I think those empty sweetie wrappers tell us the whole story. <laughs> Bushes. <laughs> Press E. Hedgehog. There seems to be a stamp stuck on your back. Let me help you, Mrs. Hedgehog. Path to Cook's house. Bushes. Picnic table. Side menu. Path to Cook's Bushes. Picnic table. <gasps> we should have a picnic this weekend. That sounds nice. What will we take with us? Jam sandwiches and... Chocolate biscuits. Odd. I thought I saw a little girl finish those last night. I have no idea what you're talking about. Picnic table. Side menu. Path to Cook's. Bushes. Why is he hiding? I think the yeah. sweetie. Path to Cook's house. Let's go Press inside e the kitchen. To... See what we can do. Auto here. saving. Path to town's rabbit hole. Overgrown sunflower. Door to Cook's Kitchen. A 
Upon entering the house, the adventurer was hit by the smells of a kitchen. A large pot of soup is on a table with precariously stacked bowls and cutlery. Beside a bathtub is a wood-burning stove, the fire just glowing embers. Though her attention was quickly drawn to the cook, fighting with a vegetable bulb. Standing at a workbench is a crumble wearing an apron. Over the soil-covered table, she is struggling with a large turnip-shaped bulb. He has little hands and an unhappy expression. The king's favorite part of every celebration was the cook's famous crumble soup. But without this particular plant, the soup would not be as delicious as she wanted. Hello, Mr. Bulb. Why don't you want to be planted? The Bulb didn't like the new home that Crumble was trying to give him. So he refused until a better one was found. He handed the adventurer a shopping list of everything he wanted. Here is the list with everything the Bulb wanted for his new home. First on the list, a large pot with fresh soil. Don't worry, Mr. Bulb. I'll find a better home for you. New diary entry. Sharp clippers. Press E to select. I'll just borrow these. I don't want any of the crumbles getting hurt. Sharp clippers added to backpack. Kay. Pot of soup. Press E to select. This must be the famous crumble soup. But it's not ready for tasting just yet. Pot of soup. Curtains. Press E to select. Let there be light. Oh. There must be something outside blocking the window. Pot of soup, window, door to outside, bathtub, furnace, the cook, side menu, pot of soup, window. Wait, let me see something here. Door to outside, window. There must be something outside blocking the window. Window, pot of soup, side menu, the cook. Press E to select. The king's favorite part of every celebration was the cook's famous crumble soup. But without this particular plant, the soup would not be as delicious as she wanted. Here is the list with everything the bulb wanted for his new home. Oh, I see. First on the list, a large pot with fresh soil. Okay. Pause menu. The cook. Furnace. This fire is about to go out. I should find some wood to feed it. Furnace. Bathtub. Press E to... Su this crumbles bathtub looks like a giant plant pot. Bathtub. Press oh. E to okay. select. So let's do chocolate brown bag of fresh soil. Bathtub. This will make a perfect home for Mr. Bulb. With the bulb in hand, the cook walks over to the bathtub, now full of rich soil. The cook plants him with ease and steps aside. Mr. Bulb seems happier as he hugs the soil around him. I should check his list to see what he wants next. Bathtub. Press E to select the cook. The king's favorite part of every celebration was the cook's famous crumble soup. But without this particular plant, the soup would not be as delicious as she wanted. The cook. Press, furnace, side menu, pot of soup, window, door to outside, bathtub. 
Wait, how do I? That's much better, isn't it, Mr. Bulb? Here is the list with everything the Bulb wanted for his new home. Next on the list, sunlight and a toasty fire. Sunlight. Okay, so we need to go That's outside. Up. The cook. Furnace. Side menu. Pot of soup. Window. Door to outside. We need to use the... Sh the um, we need to... Auto saving. Cut the... Uh, Path to town square. Let's see. Chocolate brown. Sharp clippers. Rabbit hole. Overgrown bush. Overgrown bush. Take that and that. I better take these branches with me. You never know when they'll come in handy. Wooden branches added to backpack. Path to town square. Rabbit hole. Window. Sunflower. Door to cook's kitchen. Press right E to select. Auto saving. Pot of soup. Chocolate brown. Wooden branches. Pot of soup. Window. Bathtub. The cook. Furnace. Furnace. I got you some fresh wood. Here you go. The cook hands Annie a dark green watering can. For me? Why, thank you. I'll go fill this watering can for you. Watering can. Empty. Added to backpack. Furnace. Press okay. E. Side menu. Pot of soup. Window. Door to outside. Bathtub. The cook. Bathtub. This is empty, isn't it? Door to outside. Where's the water? Oh, the fountain. Auto saving. Path to town square. Side menu. Path to town square. Path to decorator, chocolate brown, watering can, empty, fountain, fountain. That should be enough water. <laughs> watering can, full, added to backpack. Alright, so there's the fountain. water. Path to decorator's hop, side menu, path to cook's house. So we'll go back in here. Auto saving. Path to town square. Chocolate brown bowl. Watering can. Full. Rabbit hole. Window. Sunflower. Side menu. Rabbit hole. Window. Sunflower. Wait. Do I have to use this on the sunflower? Sunflower. Here's a drop of water for you, my little sunflower. Oh, is that stamp for me? Thank you. Watering can, empty, added to backpack. Path to town square. Press E to select. Rabbit hole, window. Door to cook's kitchen. Path to the pick, side menu. Path to town rabbit hole window door to cook's kitchen okay let's see what do we need to do next auto saving pot of soup window door to outs bathtub the cook the king's favorite part of every celebration was the cook's famous crumble soup but without this particular plant, the soup would not be as delicious as she wanted. The cook, bathtub. Here is the list with everything the bulb wanted for his new home. Next on the list, a nice cold drink of water. Bathtub. Oh, I see. Crap, door to outside. So we gotta get more water. My bad. Path to town square. Let's go here.
Path to Decor Fountain Chocolate Brown Balloon Watering Can Empty Fountain Fountain Wait Watering Can Full Added to Backpack Fountain Path to Decorator's Hut Side Menu Path to Cook's House I see, so now we're gonna go in here. I think I'm almost done here. Auto saving. Path to town square. Rabbit hole. Window. Door to cook's kitchen. Pot of soup. Window. Chocolate bra Watering can. Full. Window. Bathtub. The cook. Bathtub. Bathtub. Press E to use item. Press right Here mouse go, button Mr. Ball. to return item. A nice cold drink just for you. With the bulb now happy with his new home, he began to flourish right in front of the young adventurer's eyes. The cook picks a few fresh leaves from the now-grown bulb. She walks over to her pot of soup and drops them in. It just took the right conditions and looking at the problem from a different point of view to get there. However, to the crumble's surprise, the leaves of the plant turned the soup a different color, making her worry all over again. Bathtub. Press huh. E to... Door to outside. Bath furnace. Side menu. Pot of soup. Mmm, yummy. The king is going to love this. The crumble gave out a sigh of relief. She could now sit back and relax with her new plant friend. Pot of soup. Press E to select. Window. The cook. Door to outside. I think the last thing I need are the sweets. So let's auto saving. Go out here. Path to town square. Rabbit hole. Window. Door to cook. Path to the picnic area. Side menu. Path to town square. Side path to the picnic area. Let's go here. Sorry. Path to Cook's house. Prep bushes. Why is he hiding in the bushes, Grandpa? I think those sweetie wrappers tell us the bushes. Oh, wait. Picnic table. Side menu. Path to Cook. Bushes. Chocolate brown. Backpack. Side menu. Chocolate brown balloon. Bushes. That isn't going to lure the young crumble out of the bushes. Picnic table. Side menu. Path to cook's house. Oh wait, I think I know. Press wait. E to select. Where's a wrapper? Let me find a... Path to town square. Let's go back here. And... Path to decorate. Path to decorator's house. Go here. Pond. Door to decorator's house. Path to town. Side menu. Pond. Door to decorator's house. Golden foil. Ooh, shiny. This must be the foil they used to wrap up their sweeties. Golden foil. Door to outside. Air canister. Press E to... Hmm. Air canister. Decorator. Pinata. Side menu. Golden foil. Pinata. Decorator. Chocolate brown balloon. Backpack. Side menu. Chocolate. Diary. Let's, item one of one. Let's look at this. Index. Exit. The story so far. Exit. 
Tutorials. Goals. The story so far. Tutorials. Exit. Goal. The story. Tutorials. Exit. Goals. Goal. Save the Crumbles Festival. Missing Jar of Sweeties. Goal 1 of 1. Press E to select. Goal. Retrieve the stolen jar of sweeties from the decorator's son. Unlock hint. Back. Unlock hint. Do I want a hint? Yeah, why not? Hint. He loves sweeties. Unlock hint. Hint. You may be able to lure the decorator's son with something that looks like a giant chocolate sweetie. Blend? Unlock hint. Yeah, I thought uh, that's what I tried. Hint. Fill the chocolate brown balloon with air. Unlock hint. Oh! Back. Oh, 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 I'm a dumbass. Goals. Goal. Save the Crumbles Festival. Missing jar of sweeties. Exit. Pinata. Wish I just f figured that out. Ah. Chocolate brown balloon. Pinata. Side menu. Golden foil. Air canister. These balloons must look gigantic to the crumbles once blown up. Chocolate brown balloon. Full. Added to backpack. I Air see. Canister. Door to door to outside. Um, I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Auto saving. Pond. Side menu. Path to town square. Let's go here. Path to decorator's house. F conductor. Singer. Path to cook's house. Path to t rabbit hole, window, door to cook's kitchen, path to the picnic area. Okay, yeah, see, so I was just missing that hint. <laughs> path okay. to cook's house, chocolate brown balloon, bushes, picnic, bushes, bushes. Got a balloon for you. Hmm. I guess he prefers sweeties. Bushes. Ah, oh, really? Press E. Picnic table. Side menu. Path to cook's house. Bushes. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Goals. Goal. Save the crumble. Goal. Retrieve the stolen jar of sweeties from the decorator's son. Unlock hint. Hint, he loves sweeties. Hint, you may be able to lure the deck. Hint, you have a giant chocolate bull. Hint, wrap the chocolate brown balloon in the golden foil found in the decorator's house. Back. Oh, so I had part of... Yeah, okay. Goals. Goal. Save the Crumbles Festival. Exit. Missing jar. Exit. Path to Cook's house. Okay, so we gotta go back here. Path to town side menu. Path to town square. Hi, I'm a dum dum. <laughs> it's okay. Uh. Path to decorator. Fountain. Conductor. Sa Path to cook's house. Right, so we'll go here. Side menu. Path to decorator's house. And then. Pond. Chocolate brown balloon. Pond. Side menu. Pond. Side. Pond. The hell? Press E to... No, I don't want to do that. The adventurer thought about it for a second. But she decided to save this item for another time. Pause menu. Pond. Door to... De door to decorator's house. Press <laughs> E to select. I'm sorry, this is a bit longer. Golden foil. Chocolate brown, golden foil, golden foil. Wow, the balloon now looks like a giant sweetie. I hope the crumbles didn't need any more of that foil. 
giant sweetie added to backpack door to outside okay press e now, ah now i get it so now we can go back and auto saving pond side menu path to town square now i can go back and get him path to decorators hut fountain conductor sink path to cook's house <clears throat> path to town square rabbit window door to path to the picnic area so now path to cook's hut giant sweetie bushes Picnic table. Side menu. Bushes. Bushes. Wow! This is one giant chocolate sweetie. I'll just leave it on this picnic table and be on my way. Annie walks away from the table and watches the scene unfold out of view. The child emerges from the bushes. The young Crumble had never seen a chocolate sweetie so big. He dropped the jar he had stolen and stared in amazement at his new find. Gotcha. Annie quietly picks up the jar of sweeties. I better get out of here before he realizes. Jar of sweeties added to backpack. Path to town square. All right, so now... Press E to... Auto saving. Rabbit hole. Door to cook. Path to the pick. Side menu. Path to town square. Yeah, okay. So now I think I go back to the decorator and drop off this jar if I'm not mistaken. Path to decorator's house. Pond. Door to decorator's house. Door to outside. Air canister. Decorator. Jar of sweeties. Decorator. Decorator. To the decorator's amazement, you had found his jar of sweeties. With the jar of sweeties, he climbs the stool beside the piñata. Now he could start to fill the piñata, and just in time for the village festival. With all the preparations now in place, the adventurer went back to tell the king the good news. When she arrived, the king was shivering behind his heavy bedclothes. All the color in his face gone. Opposite to a large bed with royal red bedsheets stands Annie the Adventurer. She is concerned for the king. You have no need to worry. Everything is ready for tomorrow's festival. But even with these words, the king continued to stare at the ceiling, his mind elsewhere. Annie stops to think as Clara ponders her grandfather's message. It's your own judgment that makes you feel this way. Don't be a barrier to yourself. Very good, Clara. The king took a deep breath in and thought over what the young adventurer had said. It was, indeed, his own judgment that made him feel this way. And it was in his power to change it. He sprang up out of bed, cheeks as rosy as ever. Both with large smiles, the king holds Annie's hand lovingly. He thanked the girl for all she had done, for him and his people. 
For too long had they let themselves worry. Beside Mr. Bulb in his pot, the cook serves a hungry king a bowl of delicious soup. The cartoonishly balloon decorator's son, floating in the air, is pulled along by his joyful father. He looks on at the young crumbles enjoying the piñata. The band plays a joyful song as Annie dances with the crumble. The next day was filled with celebration, the best the king and his people had experienced. All thanks to our young adventurer. Wow, Grandpa, that was really nice of her. The scene returns to the present day. Clara and her grandfather are sitting by the fire. It sure was. You see, my dear, you have no need to worry. Clara looks at her grandfather, listening intently. Don't let the things in life you cannot control worry you. I promise. I'll do it for the crumbles. Clara raises a fist into the air while the other rests on her hip. <laughs> her grandfather watches as he holds his chest in laughter. That's my girl. Achievement and Adventurer's Worries Unlocked. An embroidered patch shaped like a sweetie appears. It shows the crumbles happy at the village festival. Return to main menu. All right. E to continue to next story. Return to main menu. So that continue. A new game. Extras. Settings. Exit. You are about to exit the game. Are you sure? No. Yes. That is the first story. S speech mode talk. Ad ad like I said, it's a pretty cute game, I would say, and. Uh, it's, it, it's different, so uh, I hope that you are enjoying it. I believe there are two more to go. Let me make sure I'm still recording. Status line recording. Yep, all right. So until next time, you guys take care.